how do I assess the position of an endotracheal tube once I put this endotracheal tube into or insert it into a patient placed within their trachea? And the answer to that question is, is understanding the anatomy of the endotracheal tube is what will get you there. There are a lot of markings on an endotracheal tube. There are a lot of pieces and elements to it. But the one we're talking about today is this blue line that runs right down the center of this endotracheal tube all the way to the very tip of it. So that blue line right there, oftentimes you may also find it on the spine of the endotracheal tube. Either way, it protrudes all the way down or extends all the way down to the tip of the endotracheal tube. Now this is very, very important because when we understand uh, uh, a radiographical terminology, then we know that radiopaque means that when we take an image of this, a radiographical image of an, an endotracheal tube, that radiopaque line is going to show up as being a white line because it's radiopaque. The word opaque means increased density, more whiteness. And so we know that that's how we're going to be able to identify that. Without the radiopaque line, it would be very, very difficult, if not impossible, to identify where the endotracheal tube is on an x-ray.